Hello friends, welcome to Input Output Campus. So today in this video, we'll discuss about another bit manipulation problem and you know bit manipulation problems are very very important. So you have to practice these types of problem regularly. Okay, so today we'll discuss about find the first set bit from the right side. Okay, so you are giving a number n equals to 12 and after converting this decimal number into binary, we'll check the first set bit from the right side. When you found the first set bit from the right side, the position of that set bit will be the output. So here n equals to 12. Okay, and its binary representation is 10100. And from the right side of this binary number, you can see the first set bit is this one. And the position of this one from the right side is 3 okay so the output will be 3 here okay hope you understand the question now how will you solve this question okay this is very easy you are given a number n and if we take a mask so suppose a mask is equals to 1 okay so if we take a mask and if we do end operation between n and this mask then you can see our n is 10100 and our mask is 00001 okay so after doing the end operation between these two number between these two binary number you can see the end operation of this 0 and 1 is 0, this 0 and 0 is 0, this 1 and 0 is 0, this 0 and 0 is 0, this 1 and 0 is 0. So all are 0. So now we will check the first position. So in our mask, our mask value is 1 and its set bit is the first bit. So we will check the first position. If between this mask and this end, the end operation is 0, then we will left shift this mask so you know how to left shift so in the first video of this playlist you will find how to use the left shift and the right shift operator there i have explained very easily if you don't know how to use that please watch that video so if we left shift this then the one will be here and the zero will be here okay so now we'll do the end operation and after doing the end operation you can see the result is zero so we'll again left shift this so after left shifting this the one will be here now if we do the end operation between these two this 0 and 0 is 0 this 0 and 0 is 0 and this 1 and 1 is 1 so our result is not 0 when the result is not 0 then we will output the position so the position is 3 so we will output its position so the third bit, so the third bit from the right side is set. So we will output this position. Okay. So every time we will increase the position value. And when we will find that there is a set bit, then we will just output the position value. Okay. So this is a very easy question. So hope you understand this, how we will solve this question. Okay. So now let's write the code and and before writing the code if you are new to this channel then please subscribe to our input output campus so i have uploaded many videos here so different types of video and so please check out these videos this will be very helpful to you okay so now let's write the code so we'll write the code using c plus plus so now first of all we'll write the basic format of c plus plus that is as include IO stream using namespace standard int main. We'll start from the main function. Okay. So first we are giving an integer value n equals to 12. Okay. And then we will write a mask and mask equals to 1. So initially the position, initially the position of the set bit is suppose 1, okay. So we'll write a for loop. 
So inside this for loop, we'll check if n and mask. If n and mask is equals to zero. So if n and mask is equals to zero, then this is not the set bit. Then we'll increase our position. So our position will be increased. That is from one to two. And every time we we'll left shift the mask value. So mask left shift equals to one. Okay. And now we'll go outside of this while loop and we'll print. We'll print what? We'll print the position because we need the position. So if you run this, this will not give the proper output. Okay, there is an error in line number eight that uh, L value required as left seat operand of assigned. So we have give here assignment operator. So we have to write here equals to operator. Okay, so now let's run this and you can see the output is one and this is not the expected output. So here you can see this is not the expected output for this input n equals to 12. So record output is three, but here the output is one. So where is the problem? The problem is here. So you have to write this inside bracket. Okay. So now run this and you can see we have get the expected output as three. Okay. So hope you enjoyed this video. And if you find this video helpful, then please like the video and share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Okay. So thank you friends. See you in the next video. Till then take care.